busy down here. Um, I'm gonna try and jump down here and get these guys. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No! Hello guys and welcome to Bip King Gaming. I am the Bip King and today we're going to be playing some more Terraria. In our last episode we uh, managed to get our extra two additional rooms added on. Uh, so we've got two followers here, we've got a merchant and we've got our guide. Uh, and what we also managed to do was get ourselves this uh, epic, um, well, I say epic, but this awesome golden sword. So we should start doing some damage. So um, I think I think uh, in this episode we are going to start off by, I think we're just going to go exploring a little bit. Let's see what we can find. Uh, got something going on down here. Who's this guy? Get out of here you. This is my house. This is my house. With your rain jacket and stuff looking all swag. Uh, we might as well get some, get some wood while we're here. Um, yeah, so I haven't actually done anything uh, off camera since the last episode, so we're dropping, s jumping straight back in to where we left off before. So, uh, yeah, yeah, there's nothing that you bros will have missed out on. Eh, die. Ah, I need to get a bow. That's something that needs to happen. Uh, right, yeah, so in this episode, uh, I think we're just going to do some exploring, potentially expand on our rooms to see if we can get um, a couple of more followers uh, to move into our establishment. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we'll find some uh, find some good items in and around the uh, the dungeons. Now, to our, going down to our left, we have the big kind of um, dungeon cave with the... Um, railway system and stuff, so I want to try and head right uh, and see what cool things we can find down this end. So I'm hoping that, because uh, I seem to remember that there were a desert biome down here where we got all our cactus stuff uh, and that there we ran like a little girl because the ant lions came and got us. Um, and yeah, this was where they uh, tried to jump up here in the last episode and they managed to sneak in a a kill on me which uh, kind of sucked and um, this seems to be doing some decent damage 10 to 12 not too bad at all uh, I just want to feel like if I'm gonna have to fight here I want it to be pretty lit up uh, maybe I shouldn't be going um going off to have a look around when it's all dark but uh, yeah I don't really care ah. Yeah, now we're doing some good damage now. We don't really have the defense to do this. Uh, but I'm hoping. Yeah, we should be alright. Uh, as long as they don't sneak in some hits on us. Painless. At least we've got a little band of regen, so um, yeah, things could be worse. Uh, right, let's get a platform going across here. Uh, that way we. Uh, uh, oh, there's so much stuff around me. Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, we're alright. We still got more health than what we uh, were struggling with last time. That band. Of regen, it's really helping out here. It's a nice little find. Um, God, there is a lot of activity going on right now. I just want to go explore it. No, no, we died again. I'm such a noob. Okay, um, right, so. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue going down the end. Um, I just don't think we should be doing it at night. Uh, so let's have a look. What can we do? do, do, do? Ooh. I saw you. I saw you. There we go. Falling star. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I really 
kind of want to get uh, some copper down here. I bet you there's, uh, you bros have been seeing this since episode one, this copper here, and you'll be like, why isn't he getting it? Because I'm blind. That's why. Uh, I don't see it very well. It's nothing to bully me. Uh, and I think everyone should just get off my back. Uh, Alright. So, yeah. In this darkness, I think what we're going to quickly do is... Um, I think we're going to add some rooms to our swagalicious house here. Um, what I really want to... Let's have a look. Have I got all the materials I need? Raincoat. Equipable to defense. Mm, same as mine. I like how a raincoat gives the same defense as a copper chainmail armor. Seems legit. The legitest. Quick shackle. Mm, movement speed. What have we got? Shackle. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Black lens. No need to be racist. Um, let's have a look. Uh, critical strike. One defense. That's another. Sh nah, I like the movement speed plus four. That's pretty epic. Um, right. Okay, so we've got wood. We've got some wall. What? Uh, sneaking down through the gaps. Sneaking. Happy slap. There we go. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another room up here and another room up here. So once the fancy transition is done, you will see it all and I will see you on the other side. A little rooms uh, and just so that we can get our homies to come join our base we are gonna put a chair and a table in each one so let's have a quick look here Dicky Dodge. yeah this will do for now so we're just gonna pop this one open <clears throat> Okay, uh, the table there with a chair there, and down we go. And across, right? Eventually, I'll c connect this uh, through the middle tower bit, but uh, we'll do that in a second. So let's have a look. Do it there. Stop it. There we go. And there. Ah, I see. <clears throat> Demolitionist has arrived. So that's awesome. Okay, and uh, apart from the rain, it looks like it has cleared up a bit, so there should be no more zombies. So let's go get the money we drop when we just died before. And let's see what's down in the world of the ant lions. <clears throat> okay, so this looks like it's going to be a pretty interesting little cave area. Uh, let's, uh, ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Thank God for the water. Okay, so we've got some stuff and things in here. Uh, what do we got? More iron. Nice. <clears throat> so, hopefully, uh, Probably not quite yet, but I'm hoping that at some point we can start making some iron armor and uh, should be in a much better position to defend ourselves against all of the nasty little creepy crawlies that we're gonna find down here. Uh, let's put it. Dig up. Yeah. Oh. 
There we go. Uh, what have we got in here? More iron. More iron. Yeah, buddy. Gotta get the iron. So I'm hoping that with uh, with some of these resources here, we're actually going to be able to get ourselves uh, some pretty nice... I think, is that a little bit of copper I see? Do I see a little bit of copper? I think I do. Uh, I can hear quite a bit of activity down in this cave. Uh, it sounds like there's something down the water. Um, ow. I think some sand fell down and hit us. Uh, okay, it's all good. So we go down here. There's definitely some stuff and things going on down here. There we go. Uh, yeah, I see you. I see you. So let's get some more platforms. And let's get across this here. Ooh yeah, stabby through the gappy. Gotcha. All right. So that was pretty positive. I definitely think that with this weapon, we're going to be able to just defend ourselves initially down here. Uh, that's incredibly annoying. There we go. Light the way, light the way, light the way. I think I can see some. There we go. Ah, oh, we're out of torches. There we go. That should last us a little while. Some more iron. There's a lot of iron in this map. See, I wonder... Now, one thing I've noticed when uh, you make a game is that it color codes the map into uh, the kind of biomes you're in. Now, I'm not too sure what it means, but I know that you can get green and red, and you can get blue and... No. Blue, red, and green. Green is the standard one. I see everyone has green, and then you get... Uh, either red or blue. So one of them's corruption, and the other one is whatever I'm on. Uh, I'm not really too sure what the red denotes um, or what it's called, uh, but I'm guessing it's just kind of like another alternative to corruption, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I know that once you activate something called hard mode, and then you get a, a nice little yellow streak uh, on the leaves as well on the tree. Uh, and this is when you're in the menu and you are um, loading up your game or you've just created the world that you're in, uh, you'll see that it's got these different colors. Um, so yeah, I all I know is that it, whoa, that guy, he came flying out of nowhere. Still whooped his ass though. Get out of here. Uh, right, I don't really want to go down the water because the water is going to be nasty. It's going to be all wet and horrible, I'm not going to be able to breathe, uh, it's, it's not funny, I'm going to feel claustrophobic and stuff, I just don't think my guy's going to like it. Uh, so we're going to stay out of the water for now and hopefully explore the cave through here, I want to go up here, I want to always be in a position where I can fall down on things instead of having things fall down on me. Uh, so I'll go up. There's some, something glowing red over there. Not something I've ever seen before. Uh, ooh, more copper. So at least if we don't get ourselves the um, the iron armor and, and stuff like that, then at least we can get ourselves some more copper armor. I think we have got quite a bit of copper going on. Uh, so that should be good. I'm really interested to see what this red stuff is over here. Like. Um, I wonder if if I hit it, does, is it going to hurt me? Uh, am I going to hurt it? 
Are we, are, are we gonna be friends? Like, is it gonna be a romance that starts between me and this glowing red thing? I, I don't know, let's see. Uh, uh, can't, can't really do anything to it. At least not right now. So, um, yeah guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you know what these red things are and what I should be doing with them. Uh, Cause I don't know. Uh, oh, there's a little little dude down there. Let's go down and say hello to him. Uh, but yeah, so if uh, any of you guys knows what, um, what these red things are, even what they're called, uh, yeah, please let me know. I, uh, I'd like to learn from you bros. Um, but yeah, so what some of you might not know is that I haven't... Uh, I used to game a lot back in the um, early 2000... Yeah, from about from the late 90s into uh, 2000s, uh, I was very into gaming. Uh, but then I joined the British Army... Uh, and yeah, didn't really have time for game anymore. So um, now that I'm a much older guy and uh, going back to my nostalgic roots of gaming after my time in the military, um, I decided uh, to pick up gaming again, yeah, basically. Um, so I haven't gamed for a long time, so things like Terraria and the things that might seem second nature to you guys, they're all going to be pretty new to me again. Uh, and in other Biff King gaming news, uh, I have just ordered the first part to my new uh, gaming recording editing machine. Uh, so yeah, uh, I've got the MSI Gaming 7 uh, X99A motherboard coming, uh, and that's the first addition to a project that's going to probably take a couple of months and cost me a lot of money. Um, but it will give me some much need needed. Oh, yeah, I heard him. Um, yeah, it's going to give me some much needed process power to um, bring you guys some some pretty good games here. So where's this? Where did this guy go? Where is he? Hmm. Anyway, let's go. Let's let's keep going down. I'm getting paranoid now. I'm like, I can hear him. Oh, we found ourselves a room. Yeah, we found ourselves a room. Let's see. Let's hope there's some good stuff down there. I could, uh, I could do with some treasures. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, I'm in the process of building a gaming editing rig uh, so that I can play some more awesome high-end games for you guys. Keep you updated on some of the newer stuff that's coming out. Um, oh, what's this? Wild Shoe Spikes. Allows the ability to slide down walls. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's pop it on. Let's, let's see. Uh, see what that like. Bomb. Iron. Let's loot. I can hear him coming. Yeah, die. Right. Um, and yeah, um... So yeah, the first part, uh, and I'm actually going to do a little unboxing of the uh, of the motherboard when it turns up. It should arrive with me on Tuesday, uh, which won't mean much to you guys because by the time that you'll uh, be watching this, the channel will have launched. Tuesday will have passed, and uh, yeah, all um. All of this will already be uploaded and ready for you to go. So, uh, yeah, what I'd say is if you want to see what the uh, MSI uh, the MSI Gaming 9 X99A motherboard looks like, uh, head over and tell you what, I'll put a description down below for you guys uh, and you can have a look at what my pretty new motherboard looks like. Unfortunately, I can't actually do anything with the motherboard. Oh, God, I think I've just trapped myself. Uh, yeah talking uh, and uh, trying to tell you guys about my awesome new rig and trying to play this um, didn't go out so well so uh, I'm gonna quickly run down and get my stuff uh, and then we can talk some more about the gaming rig see you in a bit
back down here and uh, yeah it's looking it's looking busy down here um, I'm gonna try and jump down here and get these guys leave me alone leave me alone leave me alone no Okay guys, quite frankly, I'm tired of dying down there. So uh, what are we gonna try and do quickly? Um, so what, I'm wondering, do things get uh, more difficult to kill at night? If anyone could tell me that in the description, that would be pretty cool. Uh, Cause that means that we should probably just focus on building when it's night time. Uh, but we're gonna convert our iron bars. Not bad, 20. So we're up 30. Three of them and 26 of them so yeah we definitely need to improve I wonder how much damage an iron sword does probably not more than gold I suspect gold uh, broadsword 10 14 yeah. Yeah. all right let's have a look what should we have let's keep that looking swag uh, and uh, let's get the trousers and copper there we are right uh, hopefully that will give us a little bit well, let's take some healing potions with us as well no no I just got rid of all my wood god such a noob. Uh, right. So let's go down. Get our money. Uh, get our. Ugh. Right. I'm gonna go get the money, get some wood, and uh, then I'll be back. Okay, so we are gonna leave the ant lions alone for now. We're gonna sacrifice our gold, uh, and that's it. So uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna call it an episode there. Uh, as you can see, we've now got a demolitionist up here, uh, so we can start getting some bombs from this guy, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think in the next episode, we're gonna expand this uh, metal tower, and hopefully try and see if we can get potentially the nurse to move in here. Uh, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, guys, please leave some uh, any advice that you have in the comments. Again, those red crystals that we found down by the ant lions in the desert biome. If you know what they are, know what they're useful for, let me know because I would like to know. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see some more Terraria uh, and other Let's Play series. And uh, yeah, like I said, guys, I am in the process of building my uh, new machine. I'll have uh, a link in the description below to uh, my unboxing vi video of my MSI Gaming 7X99A motherboard. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it's called. So yeah, thank you very much guys. Check that out if you wanna um, have a look and see what, how that project's gonna be coming along. It's gonna take a couple of months before the machine's ready, but uh, yeah, it'll get there. And uh, by the time we get there, we'll have some awesome games on the way for you guys at some very high quality recording. Uh, and yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.